If you're using the internet and you're typing a web address into your browser, chances are you're already using internet domains. So the top level domains are the TLDs, the acronym here. Uh, there are country ones such as .ca for Canada, .jp for Japan, and .fr for France. But most people use the generic or global ones such as .com, .org, and lesser known ones such as .aerial and .museum. Uh, ICANN is the organization that manages these generic ones and they're about to go on a massive expansion campaign to add almost more than a thousand of these. About five of them, 500 have already been signed and are ready for use. They're, they allow organizations, cities, communities to identify themselves in a way that gives an easy to remember web address. And so this makes it very easy to, easier for people to get at the internet and it also allows some organizations to maybe have creative uses of their domains in ways that hadn't been thought of yet. But there's also a potential for abuse, there's a potential for confusion, and there's a serious concern in some circles about people using this massive expansion to try and defraud people out of their money, their personal information, and, and other issues such as that. One of the things that we're doing here within ICANN is we're trying to come up with policies and procedures that help protect the interests of internet end users. That's why, and at large, this is why we're here. We are the component within ICANN that protects internet end users, or we're charged in addressing the needs of internet end users, and this is what we do. Within ALAC, which is the advisory committee for at large users, I chair the working group that's involved specifically in looking at the new GTLD program and examines this expansion of these domains and makes sure that they try and benefit end users and that they minimize the harm so that we can take maximum advantage of them and minimize the harm.